Hello, today I'm going to experiment to see if a regular inner spring is either affected in any way by an EMF field. So we have here a standard inner spring, an EMF detector. I have a board here I've marked at the height of the inner spring so I can measure with and without the spring. We'll also use the top of this board as a measuring guide as well. In addition, I've placed an X inside the spring on the, on the table so that we could see an exact location each time we put it in. So now, we're going to turn on this EM field detector, this triaxial EM field detector, and just to show you, I chose a place to make sure there was an EM field in front of a power box. You can see that it gets worse and worse and worse as you get closer to the box, and better and better and better as we get farther away. So let's put this down on top here right above the X, and we get a reading of 5.0, 5.1, now I'm going to go and take this reader and try to hold it the height of the top of the wood and carry it over carefully right above that X it's about the same height. I hope there's no little error in my part in how I hold it but 5.2, 5.1 the same reading several inches above the spring. Now I'm going to try reading inside the spring to see if for some reason there might be any change in it and we'll see what we get here. There we go. Well inside, we have a reading of 5.0. 5.0 fluctuating with 5.1, it's the same reading essentially. So there's really been no change so far. Now we'll try it without the spring here. Take a little walk with the spring. And away we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, that's a good distance. We'll just leave that spring over there. Make our way back to this box here. Quite a distance away. And we're back here where the X is in the box. And we'll put this on the X. Same location, right on the X. And we get a 5.0, which is the same reading. Uh, there's always a little margin for error if I, you know, just don't put it perfect, but now we'll hold it up to the height of the bar, also right above that X. So I'm trying to be right at that bar, noticing 5.2, 5.1, no difference really whether the spring was here or not. Now we'll try the top here, and then you'll notice still the same reading as 5.1, 5.2, same readings we had before whether the spring was here or not. So this shows that that inner spring has absolutely no effect on any EM field that whether it's amplifying, generating, it's no different whether the spring is here or not. Thank you.